Hello, so in this video, I'm going to go uh, about showing you how to create a custom back navigation button um, for your app. So uh, in a previous video, I showed you how to create uh, navigation from one view to the next. Uh, the, I'll put a link in the description. So if you need to refresh yourself by watching that video, because this kind of takes off from there. Um, so we have this um, uh, very small uh, Swift UI application that on the home screen, you click here and then you uh, just have a back bar there. So a back button there. That back button just comes automatically. Whenever you create navigation to a new screen, this is automatically placed there. But say you don't like that and you want to customize it, I'm going to show you how to do that. And so uh, this is our second view uh, that, that, you know, when you navigate to it, it places a back button there. So as I said, we're going to place our own back button. And to do that, um, uh, the, 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 we create a button that basically allows us to um, dismiss the uh, presented mode. Um, and to be able to do that in a button, we need to first put this line of code here. I'll admit I don't fully understand um, this line. I know it's considered like a wrapper that allows us to use the um, present mode uh, dismiss function. Uh, and so I, I will share all this code with you. Uh, there's not a lot of code outside of this. Um, so this needs to go right underneath the uh, struct uh, header. And then the rest of the code we're going to put in our existing VStack. And I'm going to copy and paste this um, it's, and place it right in here. And I'll, I'll kind of review what it is. Um, I don't really love the way that format it, but let me fix it. Just bring it back a little bit. There we go. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so... Um, yeah, just a uh, spacer here to make a break on the page for this. And then, uh, as you see, we have a navigation bar back button. We're setting that to, um, is it hidden? Yes, we are going to hide it. So we set that to true. So that hides the, the um, system back button. And then we create a toolbar item. Um, we place it in the navigation bar area. Uh, and then we, what is it? So this is what it is. It's a button uh, that the action of this button is to dismiss the presentation mode. So it is a wrapped value. That's kind of, um, this works together. If I didn't have this line, like if I remove this, I will get an error um, from that line right there. Uh, so that's important to keep this there. Um, and then um, our label. So I have this commented out, but you could just have a left arrow um, that's a built-in system image. Uh, but let's say like it was going back to your home page. So you have the, the house. There's a, um, a few of the different versions of this that you can use. Uh, I'm going to give it a uh, blue foreground color. And then I'm going to say home and text um, foreground color blue for that as well. And that's it. That, that's all it takes to, to do this. I'll share this code with you, but it's not too complicated. And so now if I go back here click here you see that we have our home button um, pretty good and works pretty well um, so again like you can customize this to whatever you want uh, and it should should work pretty well uh, let me know if you have any questions uh, hopefully this is helpful thanks